Hi guys and welcome to the Ark channel once again and uh, today we have uh, Russell with us in, in the studio. Uh, Russell and me basically uh, played a lot together with various different lineups. In fact, abhi recently, which I'll share a bit of a footage. In 1997, we had a concert in the Alliance France in, Kara uh, in Karachi. And uh, we had a show there. Uh, that was I a good show. Yeah, that was a great show. Great show. Or uh, that was at Amir Zaki. And then we also did a couple of shows. In fact, we had a show with Fusion in uh, Royal Albert, right? Royal Albert Hall. Mein yeah, tha Royal Albert Hall. Mein. And उसके बाद हमने मुख्तलिफ बहुत बहुत सारे recordings भी किए साथ और उस तरह से काफी शुगल भी किए we we had mm -hmm. some great times oh, yeah <laughs> and uh, the most interesting was हमने uh, 1990 say 1992 तक uh, we played together at the Sheraton उस वक्त होटल Sheraton होता था उनके lobby में हम we used to play together. And those were the best. Those, days, yeah. those really were, were great and days. And those days, I think those, uh, that time it was really, we learnt a lot over there. Amongst Haan, ourselves. Exactly. Wo you know, we helped each other out. Two, musically. Two, three, two, three, 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 Although wo sare covers the, but uh, it was still, uh, it was still very interesting because uh, every day we'd get a different audience. उसमें बहुत अच्छे किस्म के बुरे रिक्वेस्ट भी आते थे हाँ बिल्कुल और फिर कुछ अच्छे रिक्वेस्ट भी आते थे I remember there was this couple from Lahore जो के जब भी यहाँ पे I think family से मिलने आते थे once year and they would always come and request for these particular songs that we used to play Dire Straits के और Eagles के जो गाने हम बजाते थे हमारे जो उस टाइम में सबसे ज़्यादा रिक्वेस्टेड सॉन्ग वो होटल कैलिफोर्निया हा� और उससे पहले शेरी शेरी लेडी भी होता था एक गाना बहुत बहुत ही बहुत ही बुरे गाने खैर एनीवेज बट कमिंग बैक टू रसल एंड इस प्लेइंग सो द होल आइडिया ऑफ हैविंग माय फ्रेंड्स एंड माय कॉलीग्स एंड माय फेलो म्यूजिशियंस इन यर इस टू बेसिकली डिस्कस द आइडिया एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ म्यूजिशियन क्या सोचता है जब वो रिकॉर्ड कर होता है क्या सोचता है जब वो लाइव बजा रहे होते हैं उनके क्या मूड स्विंग्स होते हैं क्या होते हैं उसके उनके शॉट कमिंग्स होते हैं क्या उनके जो एक चीज को एनहांस करने का उनको किस तरह हाउ हाउ दे दे फिगर दिस थिंग्स आउट सो रसल हाउएवर कम्स फ्रॉम एन uh, back from the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, se leke, right up till the 90s, was mainly uh, dominant by uh, a lot of musicians from the Christian community. Uh, I remember Dominic Gonsalves or uh, Richie D'Souza. Ye do pade, uh, uh, famous musicians the joke were playing with Alam Gir, I yeah, think, back in the day. Most senior musicians, yeah. Gee, and that's when. That's when I think uh, Amir Zaki got introduced into yeah. the lineup, and that's how we got to know of Amir Zaki, and that's how we ended up playing. And uh, he also played with a lot of other people yeah. from back back in the seventies. Back in the basically. days, I remember uh, I met Zaki uh, a little much more before you could meet him. And in uh, mid eighties, ki baat karo. mid eighties, and that time we used to only I remember Zaki playing only heavy metal. Uh, that's it. That's about. In it. fact, in a band with yeah. Amir called Axe Attack. Yeah. Very. <laughs> very. very I, I remember I was I was a kid and I remember watching them play yeah. uh, one of these shows. Anyway, so again coming back to Russell. So basically, Russell ek aisa era se aate hain jo ke uh, was a different sound, was a different kind of a performer for that time, and that kind of uh, uh, the vintage sounding bass or jo ke aaj tak. अगर आप कोई भी पुराने एल्बम्स या अब इवन रीसेंट एल्बम्स आप उठाएं तो देस अ सर्टेन कैटेगरी ऑफ म्यूजिशियंस यू प्ले दैट कैन ऑफ स्टाइल एंड व्हिच इज वेरी रेयर नाउ इन 
especially in Pakistan. You see a lot of, uh, I, I don't know, I would like your comments on, you see a lot of bass players that are very flashy and uh, use very different techniques. So what, what is your take? What do you think about that? Basically, <coughs> uh, pointing out to a bass, and bass players, uh, there is a it is like we are old school and uh, hume, what uh, we've been taught, uh, how we learned was from the tapes and records and covers, which is our main tutors. And nowadays kids, uh, for instance, my son, who's a very flashy bass player and the other uh, new kids. Uh, Lekin, acha bass player bhi hai. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> What has happened is obviously being young, it's just like um, a, a, a car, um, a good car comes out and then eventually another model comes out which has more features Bilkul. in it. Bilkul. So that's how the younger generation is all about. It's evolve hota hai basically. Yeah. So Musicians it's all, evolve it's all evolution evolve. and uh, you know and they grow in that. But basically bass playing is to take the music along to make it, you know the bass is like the salt in the food. You know, and it's the backbone. Very well said. And uh, you now, if you're going to add extra salt in your food, the food is going to be, it looks all tasty, but you cannot eat it. So for a bass player, he has to be very, very careful of what he has to do and to take the band, the music along. That's, uh, that's how what old school bass playing is all about. And tapping and slapping and popping these are like spices you add onto your food. But the main thing is the groove that keeps the mm -hmm. food going, Bilkul. keeps you going. So Bilkul. I would advise uh, the young bass players, very good, fine, you do all the gimmicks that you want, but for how long can you do it? Can you do it for a good two hours? So I understand that there's a certain uh, audience hai basically, wo, uh, certain cheezon ko acknowledge karte hain stage pe aur kuch certain cheeze completely transparent hote hain stage pe and this is not just in pakistan this is pretty much all over the world uh, in fact is pe bade jokes bhi bane uh, a lot of musician jokes us tarah se that uh, the bass player is the most transparent person in the band although agar aap bass ko aap ek unit se nikal dein to it looks like aap aap Nanga ghumre basically, so literally, it's literally yeah, like that, that you feel that yeah. uh, there's, there's something, something missing from my life. Literally, it's, yeah. it's, that, it's that important, at least as a drummer, I understand that if a bass player is not locked with me or a bass player, it feels incomplete basically. Definitely, so, definitely. do you think is that the reason that the next generation, this current generation of bass players, are they trying to fill that gap that we get recognition mile as a bass player? Because most people either look at the singer or the guitar player. They look at the singer because he's standing in front of him and he's singing. And the lyrical content has more emphasis. And then you look at the guitar player because he's wearing his hair and he's wearing his hair and he's wearing his hair and he's wearing his hair. और उसकी उंगलियां जो है वो काफी तेज बज रही हैं उस तरह से या या आधे usually guitar players are very loud by nature anyways the thing what I said before के bass player को bass players transparent right likewise your backbone is even transparent people only see you in the front they don't see the backbone but you're standing because of the backbone बिल्कुल तो this is what the bass is all about if you see के you have two guitar players two keyboard players there are two drummers too. Genesis. Drummers have so many components. Then you have violin players and all. But the plus point is that when the bass comes inside, it comes to all the time like a lasso, just binds everybody together. It seems like there is a whole black and white movie and it comes to the color. Color is coming. That bass is the importance. There is never two bass players on stage. Only one bass guitar. Bilkul. which controls everything the full yeah. music on stage so this is the importance of the bass guitar so coming to uh, <coughs> t 
the equipment that you use uh, over the years khair mujhe yaad hai aapke paas ek bada legendary bass amplifier uh, bassman 100 hota tha oh, back oh, in the day and uh, you acquired it from I from uh, the who uh, kin kiske paas it was uh, it was from the who but uh, basically the other older amp that was the high, the high watt allen dice had yeah. that was from yeah. the who but uh, what uh, glen boyle had bought yeah. it there was another uh, band. jazz band that came back in the okay. 70s and they performed but here but aapka ek uh, i remember you had this really nice jazz bass the fender jazz bass fender jazz yeah, bass that was that, that was so so what is your current setup right now right now i i don't have an amp as such because obviously touring yeah, you can't exactly. carry an amp around so Lekin i what's what's your go to amplifier jab aap jab aap technical rider bechte hain i i i send them for an ampeg which is my first cho- preference yeah, of yeah uh, tube ya tube tube tube, 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 tube. Okay. but now usually mm-hmm. sometimes they don't have the tube so it's rather solid state or valve state so it's combined so i forgot the model number I usually use like SVT, SVT uh, that bilkul 10 inch 10 uh, speaker wala oh. cap nice. i use that or uh, and bass bases uh, bases i have my fender jazz bass uh, marcus miller signature nice and i have the sire bass marcus miller and i have the yamaha trb 5 string which is inke paas marcus miller ki topi bhi hai agar aap dekhe bhi hai aur yamaha trb 5 string which my son bradley is using and i have a fender square vibe series jazz bass which my son bradley is using even currently acha so basically uh, <laughs> adli badli hoti rehti hai family mein basically i mean it's in the family so basically. what's mine is his is so why exactly mere baat to wahi hai na <laughs> exactly so great uh, this was quite an interesting discussion again thank you very much thank for taking time for out and calling uh, me even coming yeah. in and uh, doing all of this and until next time guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the show and i hope you enjoyed uh, russell's bass playing uh, and, and uh, hope you enjoyed his playing he's very good <laughs> even and uh, If you like what you see and hear, please, please, please uh, hit the like button. That Maybe that again, it always helps us. It always encourages us. And there's a notification bell. Yeah. yeah. Ding, yeah. Ding, ding. This is an <laughs> avid uh, uh, YouTube watcher, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a notification bell, uh, and you can click on that. जबे भी हम ये कोई भी चीज़ हम release करते तो आपको notification मिलेगी. And also, if you like again you like all of the stuff then please subscribe to the channel thank you so much and uh, hope you have a good day take care